Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Carner Collectibles here and today we are going to be reviewing a Scream Robes 1996 Ghostface Robe Collectible. In this video today we're going to go over all the details that I can possibly put into what this costume is made of. Uh, the stitch lines, how the streamers are, the differences between every single robe from one through four. Obviously the robes for five and six are completely made differently, but I just wanted to go into more detail than what I've seen on YouTube for the Scream robes and get close in shots for you guys. And I hope this video is enjoyable for you guys and let's get right into it. Now the first thing I want to go over is where I purchased the robe. The robe was purchased by my good friend Brad on his Instagram, which his Instagram handle is at Scream Robes. No spaces in between that. Uh, as a young kid, I always wanted a Scream robe. And I know Public Enemy Studios was the guy to go to back in the day as he was the main source to get these robes. But I started doing more reviews on YouTube and I saw um, a review on a, a Public Enemy Studios robe and I noticed that like a lot of the stuff was fraying, like the streamers and then the bottom, uh, you know, the jagged edges at the bottom, they started to fray and would leave, you know, little strings around your house. And I wanted something that was more durable, was going to last a long time. So I found screen robes. I originally seen them by uh, a man on Instagram. He went by, um, I think, Weeping Ghost or Weeping Masks. He changed his Instagram handle. I will pop that up right here as well as the Screen Rope Instagram is going to be shown on the screen. But I'm so glad that I found these robes because this was a dream come true for me. Here we have a close up of the hooded area of the ghost face robe. Don't worry about the 25th anniversary mask that's there. It was re sewn and reshaped to look like a generation one to match with my 96 robe. But uh, I love the detailing and uh, the, the accuracy that uh, Scream Robes Brad um, has gotten with these robes. And he uses a foam material that's on the inside of it that keeps the shape of the big droopy hood, which is really nice. I know in Scream, form, Scream 4, the hood was a lot smaller than in uh, 1 through 3, which is a, a really nice touch. Moving down to the mid chest area here, uh, you'll notice that there's a pull string. This pull string keeps the neck tight uh, uh, whenever you put it on and not loose. Uh, so it falls off your shoulders. Uh, this is the only uh, design in the 1996 robe uh, that is different than the other robes. Uh, in Scream 2, 3, and 4, they use a Velcro system that goes uh, midway, I think for 2 and 3, and then Scream 4 um, went all the way down to the bottom of the robe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, so I think that's really neat that this is the only robe that has the pull string with the V uh, section on the robes. Here we are at the sleeve of the robe. As you can see, the seam line here, and then it tapers down from the armpit area uh, where the shoulder ends, and it tapers down to the wrist. At the wrist of the robe, you can see there is an elastic band that keeps the robe from sliding off your wrist whenever you're moving around and the glove is attached to that. Scream 1 through 4 always had the attached gloves. Here down at the streamers that are connected to the sleeves, uh, we have a more squared off design uh, here and then it's also a triangular shape going into the middle of it, splitting off into two different sections. But this is only accurate to the first 1996 Scream, whereas Scream 2, 3, and 4 uh, use a more circular or oval at the bottom. Uh, it's rounded off. Same with the center section here is rounded off. So that makes the Scream 1996 robe even more uh, unique. Um, to that film 
and I just want to go over how beautifully done the sides are where it's uh, surged together because this is what I was talking about with uh, the public enemy studio robes they uh, they fray and this will not fray over time so this is gonna be sturdy and very durable and last you a very long time obviously I'm not gonna be you know chasing anybody around and doing what Ghostface does so it's just for show in my collection and also going to conventions last but certainly not least we have the bottom of the robe which holds the tassels that are cut into knife like jagged sections uh, triangle shapes but they run about three to four inches up the bottom of the robe uh, they do not have um, a surged edge by any means but because of the durability of the fabric used they're not fraying um, I don't step on them as well because if you give him your correct height and weight measurements uh, it should be perfect to your size but they are very beautiful as you can see Coming up on the last shot here, we have the robe in its full glory. I wanted to go over what the material was used on the robe and it's called Lurex. This fabric was specifically made just for Brad in his shop. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. It is much appreciated and helps the channel out so much. Now I hope you enjoy these last panel shots and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care guys.